Welcome back, everybody. Now, today, what I thought we would do is what I thought that we could take one of my favorite champions in most likely my next rank 5 in, um, into Realm of Legends. And this person is Guillotine2099. Um, she is such an insane champion. She is in the top tier. Um, she is the third best tech, in my opinion, um, behind Ghost and Warlock. Um, and today I thought that we could go into Realm of Legends because she is a ramp up champion. Um, and I thought we could go up against, um, certain opponents. Now, I did the whole, um, Realm of Legends. However, I cut out every fight that doesn't mean something. Um, that I don't really want to explain something about. Um, but yeah, um, the main thing with Guillotine 2099 is to get to 100 hits. Um, most ramp up champions are just the more you ramp them up. Guillotine, it's 100 hits, but it's also about how much you ramp her up. Um, but the main thing is 100 hits. At 100 hits, um, she, uh, her sword opens up and um, she gets uh, tons of extra energy damage uh, per hit on the combo meter. Um, and um, the best part about her is that she does not need the awakened ability. She doesn't need SIGs. Um, she doesn't need any synergies. But I have them just for fun. Alright. Um, but yeah, the reason I am showing the first fight is to show you how, um, uh, how it can be pretty annoying to ramp her up. Um, and that's my one problem with her, but that's every ramp up champion. Um, but, um, yeah, unlike, um, Aegon, she does have a way to carry on the, um, the ramp up from fight to fight, um, without the awakened ability. Um, so yeah, once you get her, she's basically at her max. I mean, awakened ability and stuff doesn't hurt, but there's really not a point for it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we are about to hit 100 hits on the combo meter. Um... And as you can see, our sword is opening up now, and we have so much extra energy damage per um, hit. And the reason I threw a heavy attack there is because right here I realized that I should build up some combo shields. So per heavy attack, you do get a combo shield on you. I like to build up to five because like combos um, are five hits. Um, and here I wanted to use the special two, so I got the intercept. Uh, I was right nearing the special three. Um, and, uh, yeah, but once you have the combo meter, um, or the combo shield, um, at about five, in my opinion, should be good, um, and the combo, uh, meter, over a hundred, you can just start hitting into him, um, your opponent, and all that energy damage is just going to wipe them out. Um, and, um, she does have pre-fights, which do come in handy, however, I do not really like to use the pre-fights, and I will explain why in a little bit. Um, now, another reason that I love Guillotine is because she's not just a offender, or a good attacker, um, but she's also great for defense, and the reason she's so good for defense is because, um, every single light or medium attack... Um, it has a 15% chance, um, uh, for her to enter her, uh, digital cloak, I think it's called, yeah. Um, and, uh, what that is, is it's basically phasing. Uh, you, when you try to attack in, you miss, and, um, yeah. But, uh, this isn't just good for defense in case you do slip up, um, and... It, like, um, you just, like, need to stop getting beaten up. Sometimes it will activate, and it really does help. Um, I mean, like, the main thing with, uh, Guillotine 2099 is consistency. Um, so you just need to keep being consistent. Um, and, um, yeah, the rest should go from there. Now, the way you travel, you, uh, keep the combo meter up from fight to fight is throwing the SP3 and getting the kill. Now, if you throw it when they're at five percent or less, it is a guaranteed kill. Um, so once they hit five percent, uh, you can just throw it. No need to worry about how big the health pool is and how much damage it does. Um, now it doesn't carry on like the 250 combo meter we have. However, it does automatically start out with 100 hits. And um, throughout this, we are going to be experimenting. Um, 
and I'm going to be showing you guys all of her pre-fight abilities but in a second I am going to explain um, some a reason why the pre-fight may actually not be good um, now, uh, for this first fight, I am activating Huntress Function, which in my opinion is the best one to activate. Um, if you need life, then uh, she's got life steal um, as a pre-fight. Um, but yeah, what this does, every 20 hits on the combo meter, um, the 20th hit is a crit. And it's a pretty good crit, in my opinion. Um, and if you use a special attack, like I am about to do... Or I didn't do this time, but if you use a special attack during like one of the hits in the special attack is the 20th hit, then um, all those hits become crits. Um, and the SP2 is it has huge damage, especially if you got that pre-fight. Now, um, this is the reason. Um, now here's the reason that um, I do not like to use pre-fights. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Uh, whatever you feel most comfortable with is what you should do. But the one downside of using pre-fight abilities is, um, like the, like they're considered digi souls, I think, or something like that. Um, but yeah, every um, one that you have, uh, when you're about to die, you regenerate um, a certain amount based on how upgraded your guillotine is. Um, and yeah, it can usually, um, it usually like. Um, it usually, um, shoot, I forgot what I was saying. It usually regenerates, like, about 50% for you, so it's good regen. Um, and, uh, here I'm trying to get up the combo shields. Um, and, um, yeah, here I accidentally get, uh, pushed to the special three, but that's okay. Um, I can just keep fighting until, um, um, I can just keep fighting until the end. Um, but yeah, it does take away the regeneration, so I do not suggest, um, like, just throwing them away. I suggest using them wisely. Um, however, today, um, we are not only, we are going to be sticking to Realm of Legends the whole time. Um, and someday, hopefully, I will go into, uh, 6.1.5. Um, one of my viewers on a live stream, like, a month ago or so? Um, told me that he soloed the crossbones in 6.1.5 and um, and I will show a little bit of Wolverine gameplay in um, a little bit against the Wolverine in Realm of Legends and how she can also absolutely wreck that match. Um, but yeah, for this Rhino matchup we are, um, we are going to activate Assault Function um, and um, what Assault Function does is, um, every medium attack, if, as long as they are higher than 99 hits, uh, power burns them a little bit. It's, it's basically just power drain. It's not that good, in my opinion. It helps, but, um, it's not exactly, like, tons. Like, it's not mind-blowing. Um, however, it does help. Um, so yeah, in this Rhino fight... Um, we've already got the 100 hits. I, I, I struggle to remember, like, uh, to put the combo shields on and stuff. Um, I suggest putting the combo shields on, but if you don't need them, good for you. Um, you don't have to put them on. Um, but yeah, sometimes it is annoying, like, if you're fighting a parrying unit or something. Um, but, um, another great part about, um, Guillotine 2099 is um that she like is not like some ramp up champions where they are only really overly good in abyss a labyrinth and realm um but they are uh but guillotine 2099 is very well rounded and can go into many quests and many other stuff like that um she's got some nice utility being bleed and poison immune um uh, which is another reason she can counter crossbones. Um, and uh, with the SP2, she can actually reverse heal. And it's pretty good reversal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to beat this as 1.5 crossbones. Um, and yeah, if I'm successful, then I'm going to post it. If I'm not, I may still post it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're at about 250. And we're doing about 5,000 red damage per hit which is absolutely insane. 
Um, so there is a very, actually, there is a very solid argument for Guillotine 2099 to be, um, the number, uh, the number one spot in tech. Um, and really in the whole game, she like is, she has some crazy damage, um, but in order for her to be the best in the whole game, you need to be like on top of stuff. You need to be like absolutely, like you need to never mess up in, or anything like that. You need to be like a perfect player. Um, but most people aren't like that. So, and I know I'm certainly not, so I am uh, not putting her at the top. Alright, but um, in this fight we are going to be experimenting and showing off the last of the three pre-fights. Um, and every medium, you lifesteal a little bit of their, a little bit of their health. Um, now it's not huge, um, we're only gaining 77 health per medium. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, especially if you can t line everything up properly, um, it is definitely, the uh, first one, Huntress something, is definitely the best in my opinion um uh because like uh, the crits are just very good and if you especially if you can line it up with the special attack especially the special two since it has so many hits um that one is definitely the best in my opinion all right um but yeah we are um but yeah right now we are just trying to hammer into him get as much health off as possible um, but yeah, he, or she, um, is one of, when I made a Cavalier, beating Cavalier Guide, and for the 6.1.5 Crossbones, um, there were some people I listed, um, I remember, um, I remember I listed Guillotine 2099, um, I listed She-Hulk, um, and I listed Warlock. Um, Warlock, he can't reverse the regen. But he can stop it. And it's not like you need to time it up properly, which is nice. Um, but yeah, um, tell me in the comments if you do have a guillotine 2099 at like a relatively high star and you do use her. Um, me and all my friends have guillotine 2099. I believe I am the only one with a five star. Otherwise, they'd be taking them up, taking her up ASAP. Uh, the rest of them, or er, my friend OxyClean and Latex Gloves, only have um, maxed out four stars. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure she is going to be my next rank five five star, especially after doing this fight. Now, um, as I said, Guillotine 2099 has heal reversal, and it is pretty good heal reversal. I'm not sure the exact percentage. But, um, you get it on the SP2, and you are about to see it, um, like, he starts re- he gets, like, three regens, and I just reverse it all. Um, and it's absolutely crazy, and the 2099 is also just such a relaxing player. Um, it's just, you can't really mess up, um, but it's not like you need to remember a bunch of stuff, like, Okay, for the Doom Rotation, I have to do a special three. Okay, now medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium. It's not like you have to do all that. You can just play and relax. Um, and it's really nice. Uh, just don't mess up. Um, but most players um, are pretty good. Um, yeah, and just don't mess up. And if you don't trust yourself to not mess up, then um, try to, yeah, then just put some combo shields on. Alright, um, but yeah, as you can see, I did just reverse all that regeneration, and I'm still reversing all the double regeneration, and that's how much he would have been regenerating if it were not for my heal reversal. Um, that was like 20, um, that was like 20% in like a second, uh, which was absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, we, um, we do have the Huntress, um, pre-fight on, um, but yeah, here I'm just trying to race to the SP3, um, and um, the region actually really does help out right here because I need the SP3 um, to finish up the fight. It wasn't exactly working out, so um, yeah, he had he regened a little bit, but overall it was worth it in my opinion because um, she's not that she's like still good. She's got a nice damage output on ramps, but that. Um, 
Uh, but that ran, like when she's ran, she's just absolutely crazy. Um, and yeah, um, th remember this is Realm of Legends opponents. 500,000 health pulls Wolverine, 400,000. But the fact that she's taking them down this quickly is very impressive. And um, after this Wolverine fight and all that heal reversal, this was a big component to me um, for taking her up first. Um, now I am relatively close to taking her up, I'm pretty sure. I can't exactly remember. Um, but yeah, for this fight, we are going to be activating Huntress and assault function and remember huntress is a crit every 20th hit and um assault function is um medium attacks power burn um now in order to take her to rank five i'm missing a tier one or a tier five basic one uh tier four class uh attack uh but i can easily get that i have so many fragments crystal saved up uh five tier two alpha which is not ideal and one tier um one alpha so uh yeah basically i just need to get um some tier two alpha all right um but yeah remember i used both of my things and which means regen is gone and um i do mess up later in this fight which is not ideal and which is why i don't like to use these um, Huntress is really the only one that's worth it. Um, see right there, we crit on every single hit, which was extremely nice. Um, but yeah, it's time to go over synergies for today. Um, for the synergies today, um, we have two unique synergies for her. Uh, one with Warlock, however it works with Darkhawk, Sentinel, and Nebula. Um, and all of them gain 70% of bar power each time and immunity prevents a bleed or poison since they are all bleed and poison immune um and one is with key team however it also works with morning star and it's plus 30 percent degeneration potency um and then we just got nick fury and amen on the team for the evade charges uh just for some extra safety um all right but um we do have about 30 percent left on him i still have not messed up um i went for the sp1 there for the crit i messed up right there i get stunned um, thankfully Nick Fury Ant-Man saves me, otherwise I probably would have been dead, um, because remember I spent the, uh, pre-fights, um, so, oh, no regen, um, which is a big problem. Alright, but I go for an SP2 right here, um, I get the all the crits, uh, which was extremely helpful, um, and, uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'll try to regen it up, however, I think the pre, or I think it'll all be over by then. Um, but yeah, we crit there because of the, um, pre-fight, but yeah, we're not saving it for the SP3 here because remember Hulk is the last person in Realm of Legends, so there is no need to, um, but yeah, GT2099, one of my favorite characters in the game, she's my third 5-star, first 5-star rank 4, um, my first two 5-stars, uh, were, um, Amman and then Gwenpool. Gwenpool and Guillotine I got on the same day, about 20 minutes apart. Um, but yeah, um, Gwenpool is from Featured and she was from A-Tech and Cosmic, so I got incredibly lucky um, out of that crystal. Alright, but he is at 1% right now and this does finish off the fight. And it also does finish off our video. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do tell me your thoughts on Guillotine2099. And if you do have her, uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Make sure to comment new videos you want to see. I am always looking for new ones. Make sure to head over and follow the Instagram. It tells you a lot about my MCOC account and my channel. Um, and yeah, make sure, um, and yeah, if you want to watch more of me, I post every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So, uh, yeah, everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. See you guys later.